Hey, what's up? Joan Vegas here, back with another review. It's been a while. I feel like it's been a while. Um, I think there was this lull over Christmas and New Year's where, um, I don't know, just took a minute for everybody to kind of get back on the road, get back to touring, get back to shows. But I, I slowly see every weekend there's uh, there's bigger and better shows going on, and it's building and building. So I think we're back in business. The holidays are behind us, and let's get back to concerts. Um, Brian Adams at the Encore. I've seen him... Probably four or five times. I love it. It's a great... He's so good. He's just one of those guys there. He looks good. He sounds good. And he's got the big, big, big hits to match. Um, he's playing here at the uh, Encore Theater at the Wynn, which I've said on all my reviews. It's my favorite room. It's uh, it's not a big room. It's maybe 1,500 people. And they get these big acts like this. And with a guy like Brian Adams... Uh, this became like an intimate sing-along. That's kind of the best way to describe it. It's uh, Everybody sang along to just about every single song, and he fed into it. He knew perfectly when to stop singing, and turn, he even turned the mic around at one point during Heaven, um, where he lets the audience sing, and it gives you the chills. There's nothing better if you've ever experienced that feeling of being at a concert. You, you know what? The truth is it's one of the times that the bigger the stadium, the better when everybody sings along. But anytime you're at a show and there's over a thousand people and everybody starts singing along, it's just you get chills, you get emotional. It's a it's a beautiful thing. It's clearly a song that touched and resonated in so many people that they know every single word and they can sing it back to you, and that's fucking awesome. That is awesome. And he's got a handful of those. The only other act I can think of that that felt like such a sing along the whole show was probably Billy Joel. And that was at a stadium of, you know, 65,000 people. So you really feel that. But Brian Adams had a good, God, he's got so many hits. And I was they, they didn't post the set list from last night, but the, the one from the night before is pretty much the same. I'll get into it in a second. But he's got a handful of these sing-along songs, five, four or five songs where everybody was singing back he didn't have to sing a word he could have just sat there smiling and everybody would have sang the whole song straight to finish and it's awesome it's awesome so anyway uh the way it works at the encore no opening act no nothing they usually go on stage at about 8 30 and usually done by 10 he did a shorter set he, he missed a couple songs for sure uh i don't know why because he he was done maybe at 9 45 so it was a pretty short show it was great but it was short uh let me get into the set list he started with kick ass then uh, Can't Stop This Thing We Started, Somebody, gets right into it, some of the hits, uh, Shine a Light, and then he goes right into Heaven, which I think is probably his best song up there, top two for sure. Uh, such a great ballad. It's one of those underrated songs that just, I don't know if it's underrated, but it's uh, definitely got its props, but you don't hear people talk about Heaven the way you do other songs. It's such a great song. Uh, it's Only Love, You Belong to Me, I've Been Looking for You. Here I am, and then this song from the Robin Hood movie, I think it was, Everything I Do, I Do It For You, which is just, I don't know if they make bigger songs than that. This was, I remember at one point, I think it was before Titanic came out, this was the big ballad, one of the biggest singles of all time, if I remember correctly. Um, and it was tied to a movie, which made it even more interesting. But it's a perfect ballad with the perfect voice and the perfect guy and just it was just perfect it hit on every line uh back to you the only thing that looks good on me is you which is a cool little song i keep thinking that's a country song it's not but i if a country artist covered that it would make a great country song then he goes into summer of 69 quintessential 80s rock song that's probably one of the top 80 songs top rock songs top you know just one of those guys he's one of those guys that trying to think who he's like he's kind of like a john cougar mellencamp they're just they're him and their guitars and they're so talented and they look right i don't know i'm a big fan of brian adams uh, i just every time i see him i become a bigger fan then this part this is the part that's changed he takes a uh, request he takes one from the crowd and he takes one from online I'm trying to remember the one he did from online. If anybody remembers it, he can leave it in the comments. It was a really good song. I don't think I ever heard of it. It was a ballad. It was something about a, a love, a love of. I don't remember, but it was a it was a really good ballad. I never heard of it. I wish I, I, I wish I knew it. I'd like to look it up. And then he did uh, from the crowd, uh, "Lonely Nights." I think it was called. I think it's one of his early, early, early songs, which was really good too. 
And then he's like, yeah, I'd like to make my own request. And he just goes right into Cuts Like a Knife, which is also one of his uh, his big ones. Does his encore, comes out. He does uh, So Happy It Hurts. And then he does Run To You. Also, man, Run To You is also a great, great 80s rock, great radio rock song. For some reason, his songs don't get old. I don't know why. Even like Summer of 69 that you've heard a million times. It's on every radio channel. Never gets old. I don't to me. I don't know. Maybe it does to you, but to me, those his songs don't age. I don't know why. Neither does he. He fucking looks good. Uh, and then he ends it, and this is this is a testament to him and who he is. His band leaves the stage. I've been to a thousand concerts in my life. I I don't know of one concert that ends on such uh acoustic note. I guess the right way. He breaks out his acoustic guitar and he sings straight from the heart, which is a killer ballad. And it's a killer. It's one of those songs. I wish I could post audio because the the copyright will, will they'll come after me. They they're the ones actually who took down my last YouTube channel. I went to a Brian Adams show. I uploaded all my all the videos from the night, and they gave me a copyright strike for each one. And I lost my whole channel of five thousand followers and hundreds of videos. It really sucked. But um, I don't want to mess with that anymore. So. He pulls out an acoustic guitar. The room is silent, and he just breaks into Straight from the Heart, which is probably the most sing-along of all his songs. And when the crowd sings, it's haunting. It's haunting. And then it ends, and then the show's over. It's a weird way to end a show, but I think he does it on purpose to show you this is kind of what I do, and this is what you came for, and this is where I shine my best, and I'm going to leave you on this note. because, And I'm not even exaggerating. Walking out of that place, people were singing straight to the heart. Like they were, There was a guy in front of me. He was just singing it. He was drunk, and he was just singing it. It's such a sing-along. It's such a earworm that stays in all his songs are. So great fucking show. There's not really much more to say other than, you know, he seems healthy. I don't think he's going down anytime soon, but you never know these guys. They sell their catalogs. Everyone's selling off their catalogs, and then they just, you know, bow out a little bit. So go see him if you get a chance. Scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give it a 9.5. I think it's that good of a show. I I would go see it again. Tickets were really expensive. I got really lucky and found them on StubHub uh, the day before for 100 bucks, and that was crazy. That was like hundreds of dollars cheaper than what they were going for. Um I don't know. I go to a lot of shows. I don't consider myself an expert. I just go a lot. And I can tell you something is going on with the ticket market for sure. Tickets are so expensive. I I think it's a product of COVID still. I think people still have this fuck it. I don't care. Life is short. Buy those goddamn concert tickets. Put it on the credit card. Who gives a shit? Because, I don't know, a show like this used to be 150 bucks a ticket. Now it's... Uh, the cheapest tickets I saw, other than what I got, were mid two hundreds plus fees. So you're talking three hundred bucks a ticket times two. It's a lot. It's seven hundred bucks to go out with a on a date or to, with a couple to go to a, a show. This it's worth it. That's the weird part. It's a lot of money if you're in Vegas one night. Fuck it, it's worth it. If you're like me and do this every weekend, it gets a little pricey. But I'm seeing it with every show, every show I've been going to lately. I mean, even last weekend, I wanted to go see Ario Speedwagon. It was sold out. The cheapest tickets were 250 bucks. I'm not paying that. I like them, but I don't like them that much to make it a $600 night if I'm taking somebody. So I don't know how much longer this is going to last. I think the artists are starting a little bit higher for whatever reason, but people keep paying them. And unfortunately, we live in a capital uh democracy capitalistic economy where if you're willing to pay they're going to charge you so i know ticket masters in in front of congress now they're going to work on some stuff but i don't think they're going to work on ticket prices i think they're just going to work on uh how tickets are sold and, and and flipped and stuff like that but anyway rambling on if you get a chance to see him it's a great fucking show he is an american treasure a canadian treasure whatever you want to call it big fan of brian adams Go see the show if you're in Vegas, if he, if it's coming. I think he's playing one more weekend uh, next weekend, but I'm sure he'll be back. All right? Thanks for listening. I'll see you at the next show. Bye-bye.